Hey Fire Sign and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love message for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I will tip you down here so you guys can see your cards come out. First card will be uh, your guys' situation or the current status of it, the current energy of it. All right, so your guys' relationship status is in the Two of Pentacles. So um, could trying to figure out how to make this work. Let's see what your person's energy is here. You're stressing out about it. You have a lot of thoughts, um, a lot of worry about where this is headed, and they have a decision. So could be dealing with a Virgo um, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, yeah, so the person on this side, because the energy can be vice versa, um, but I'm going to refer to this side as your energy for confusion's sake. So, the person you're dealing with um, is juggling. There's too much energy, too much investment going other places than the connection. They have a choice they have to make, but they're... They're scared to make this choice. Um, they could be scared of change, scared of um, getting out of their comfort zone. So they're just putting a blind, they're just turning a blind eye to the, the obvious answer to figuring out how to stop this juggling act. They just figure as long as they can juggle, they're going to. Um, you have a lot of stress about this, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry that they're not ever going to make a choice, or if they make a choice, they're not going to choose you. Um, there's been a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of um, a lot of thoughts surrounding this. Uh, you are starting to get past those thoughts, but you're still planting that seed of intention. You're still wanting this person to pick you. Um, your block, however, is the Seven of Pentacles. So you need to um, spend time manifest, you know, working on this manifestation, uh, working on yourself, investing in yourself, showing yourself that love that you wish to get from this person, um, and continue to wait, weed out your garden. Get that negative energy out of um, from your personal space. There could be people there that are not there for your greatest good. Um, fire signs. Let's go. All right. Their um, block. Oh, their block. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Sorry. So, uh, their block is the Four of Pentacles. They have this wall up. They're not wanting to feel what they truly feel because what they feel is going to make is going to force them to make a choice and they don't want to have to make that choice. They're uncomfortable with it. They fear it. They're scared of it. So they're just keeping this wall up, keeping this guard up, um, holding tight to their emotions, not giving them to anybody, just continuously juggling, um, here and, and going to let this ride out as long as they can. Um, and that's what's blocking them. They have to get rid of it. They're also worried about finances, worried about money. Um, they're, they could be um, worried about the money they'll lose if they, if they leave a certain situation. Um, so they're being stingy with their time. They have an emotional wall up. And they're not making a decision because they're worried about lack of money. So they could be in a relationship um, due to finances. They could be stuck in a job that they hate because they need the money. Um, you can put it wherever you want, but for the majority of you, this is in love. So uh, they're putting up this wall towards you because they don't want to have to make the choice. Um, they're, they're resisting the, uh, the change here. The, they're swimming upstream, and it's causing them to be really tired and, um, and clouding their, their um, decision-making. You, your blocks are, um, continue to, uh, manifest, continue to plant your seeds of intention, continue to invest in yourself. And when you have that love for yourself, um, it will come towards you. This is a destined relationship because you have 
the star and the ace of cups both as um, spirits advice um, and your outcome is the four of wands so you're going from chain big changes them refusing to make a decision and you stressing out about it they're worried about money and have an emotional wall up um, you need to um, Continue investing in yourself, being patient, because this this decision isn't an easy one. So you have to remain patient. It's going to take a little bit of time, but Spirit's advice for you is um, to not worry about this block. The block of being patient is easy to overcome. Don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Continue to work on yourself. Release the worry, and the stars are going to align, bringing in you healing. And not only healing, but it's going to bring you in this person. Um, they're, what they're bringing to the relationship is they haven't made a decision yet. Their block is that they're worried about fear of lack of money. Um, and they don't want to let their real feelings be felt. They could be numbing their feelings somehow. Um, they don't want to ha have their real feelings be felt. Or they know they would have to make a hard decision because they really do want to be over here with this person. Spirit's advice is to show yourself the love. And this is for this person. Show yourself the love you wish to receive and it will come in tenfold. So um, follow your heart is their spirit's advice for them. So yours is to be patient and to allow divine timing to allow this healing. Theirs is to listen to your heart. Take this wall down. It's ridiculous. You don't need that wall. You will be abundant in many areas if you allow your life to be lived by the heart and not um, not blocking what this connection truly is. Um, your guys' outcome is the Four of Wands. So this is going to move into a stable relationship, um, a, a foundation that true love is built on and a home that will um, that will be stable and and can te last the test of time. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, finding a balance. You have the Two, the Four, the Six of Pentacles. So you are doubling your uh, Pentacles already just by, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be balance brought to this relationship. Um, this isn't the sharing of energy um, like it sometimes is. This is finding the balance, the divine will give to you equally and will give to you plenty if you follow your heart. Um, bringing you in at the highest vibration possible. The emperor does not get there by a gift. The emperor works hard to get to the top. They put in the hours. They put in the blood, sweat, and tears. They put in the hard work, the hurt that you have to deal with. This status is very well earned. And you are working, you and your person are working on that status Um right now so when you get there it's going to feel so much more amazing than what it would be if they just it was just given to you because there's a lot of hard work that you're putting into yourself and to this connection to bring this together and your long-term outcome is the ten of cups so absolutely amazing fire signs um after after getting out of I mean, you go from the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and then, bam, out of nowhere, like as if by magic, the Star is here and the Ace of Cups is here. Um, you just got to believe it. If you want to receive, you have to believe. You have to believe it's coming for you, um, and you have to continue to put in the work um, while you're in wait, while you're waiting for this person to make a decision, because this decision is coming um, anywhere from the next four days to six weeks for some of you. I know that's a big time period, but um, that's what I'm seeing because you, you're you ready now. This side is ready now. This side, um, because this status, you're already at the emperor. You've already worked hard for this side. You have already put in the time. You're just now being patient for this person to catch up and you're sitting on your throne waiting for them to show up. They still need to make a decision, let their guard down, love themselves, and follow their heart to the connection, finding balance so the two of you can come together in this stable love. They will come in as the emperor as well. Um, the, the two of you, this is a very divine partnership, and this is a very, very cool reading. Um, yeah. 
So very awesome. Just you just got to be patient. Fire signs, unfortunately, divine timing is not quite here yet. And um, but when it is, like I said, in the next four days, for the majority of you, it's going to be the first week of July. Um, for some of you, it's going to be in the next two weeks. Uh, anywhere from four to ten days, actually. So, yeah. All right, let's get a card uh, on your journey. One card for our fire signs and where they're at in there. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, open your heart to joy. All right, you have Desert Passage. Trust that there's a divine plan. And crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and cleansing. Beautiful. This is this is healing. This is cleansing. And this is a divine love for um, you guys. So, let's see what they say about these. I don't use these cards quite enough yet. I'm still learning them. But I just absolutely love this deck. So, all right, with Desert Passage, even if it seems that life has areas of bareness, beneath the surface it's transforming in accordance to your highest good. Trust that you are guided, even if it doesn't always feel like it. There are spiritual guides, allies, and angels surrounding you. Listen to your heart and act on your instincts. Believe the messages that are being given are in your highest good. Get down to basics and trust what you feel. And Crossing Bridges. It's... Says, crossing bridges is a way of letting go of the past and beginning a new cycle. A heartfelt change is ahead. It's time for healing old wounds with people and situations. It's time to forgive and let go of the past. Do whatever you need to do to make amends and then let it all go. If there is anything unsolved in your life, take steps to restore and reconcile. You may even need to burn the bridges behind you. Heal the rifts within yourself and help others traverse bridges in their lives as well. So you're getting ready to cross from the old land over to the new, new beginnings. Um, and sometimes in order to not go back to where we came from, we have to burn those bridges. So it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. And know that even though this person may not be making taking much, much action or um, saying too much, that even in the time of bareness, and quietness there is something going on behind the scenes so be patient have trust and faith in the divine plan continue to work on your emperor status and know that this is going to end in a stable commitment and a lifelong love for the two of you so all right guys i hope you have a beautiful day and god bless